Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having taco night. So um, I made this barbacoa in my crock pot. I've made it before, it's been a while though. Um, barbacoa, you typically make it with beef, which I have made it that way, but we actually prefer it with pork. So I used a pork shoulder roast. And then I also made some rice with this Mia Rose. I've talked about it before on our channel. And um, for my plate, which I'll show you first, I am using these La Tierra taco shells. I don't remember where I got them, but I wanted to try them um, made with white corn. So I was a little surprised when I opened them because they just come in a little bag just like this. So you get two bags that look, let me show you, exactly like that. Um, and they, the serving size is five tacos. Now these are not like huge tacos, like the Taco Bell tacos or Ortega or, or, or Old El Paso. These are smaller, but the serving size is five of them. And they, let's see right here, 140 calories. These are really, really light and crunchy. I did heat mine in the air fryer like you should do with any taco shell. Um, so I heated it in the air fryer for just a couple of minutes and they are very, very light. Kind of like if you've ever had the um, on the border thin and crispy chips, this is what these are. So in mine, I've got the pork and I've got some cheese. Um, I've got some pico on top. Here is my rice. And then I also made some black beans. Let me show you the pork shoulder roast in the crock pot. Here it is. Cooked it for a long time, like, I don't know, eight hours. And then this is Howard's plate. He is eating his on chalupas. And these are the chalupas. They really kind of remind me of naan bread. Um, you get four in there and they're really soft, just like naan. Um, you have to fry them in the skillet to brown them up. And he's got avocado, rice, beans, and the pork on there. He'll probably add some pico or salsa and sour cream when he gets to the table. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having a variation on something my mom used to make when I was younger. She used to make um, neck bones and rice, and I am making smoked ham hocks and rice. So in my pot here, I have a little over two pounds of smoked ham hocks. They've come to a boil, so I'm gonna reduce the heat and simmer and let these cook for about two hours until that meat is falling off the bones. I used to love neck bones and rice, but I always hated the tiny little bones um, in the neck bones. So this, you get the smoky meat pork flavor and all of the deliciousness without those little bones. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours now, and you can see that the ham hocks have turned a different color. That meat is pork tender, and this is exactly the way that I prepare my ham hocks when I'm making um, pinto beans and uh, with smoked ham hocks. And I actually do have a video on our channel showing how I make um, pinto beans, but this is what I was looking for. I'm gonna remove these ham hocks, pull the meat off of the bone, and then we're gonna save that stock to make our rice. Okay, so I pulled the meat off the bone and then I strained the stock and added enough water to make two cups. And I also added in about a third of a cup of onions, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and onion powder seasoned to taste. I just added in one cup of rice and now I'm adding in that meat that I pulled off of the neck bones. Just gonna stir it just to cover it and I'm going to turn the burner down to a simmer cover and let this cook until that rice is done. Okay so here is dinner all plated up serving it with the side of green beans that I seasoned with a little bit of um, salt and I use some seasoned garlic butter. This is not a fancy meal, but it is so comforting and delicious. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.
Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having grilled short ribs in my freezer. I had some short ribs that I found on sale. So I marinated them in this Walker's Wood Jerk Marinade. We really like it a lot. We pretty much like everything from Walker's Wood. Um, serving it with some broccolini. I just stir fried it in a little bit of just some seasonings and grapeseed oil and sesame oil. And then we're having some fried rice on the side. And this is the fried rice seasoning that I used. Um, I get it at H Mart, which is a um, Korean grocery store, but I've seen it at other Asian grocery stores. I've never seen it in a regular grocery store, but you get three little packets of seasoning, and then you just use three cups of cold rice. I added some green beans, I'm not sorry, not green beans, green onions to mine, and there, there it is. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we are having manwiches. So in my skillet, I have a little over a pound of ground beef. I sprinkled some garlic powder and onion powder. And I had some frozen chopped bell pepper and onions. So I'm going to let this cook, drain the fat, and then of course just add my manwich sauce. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. I grilled the buns with a little bit of butter, added some cheese, just some American cheese on top. And then we're having some sun chips on the side, the Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having potato, green bean, and bacon soup. I actually made this soup for the first time about a year ago on our channel, and I've made it a couple of times since. It is really good. Very simple ingredients, fresh green beans, um, bacon and potatoes, milk, and heavy whipping cream. I will link the recipe link in the um, description box along with the video where I prepared this on our channel. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.